Good morning, Coconino. Are you ready to raise your pulse? Because we start right now. I'm Jake Stone. And I'm Rain Varney. I think they spelled your name wrong. Come on, guys. Get it together. Our amazing student council is preparing for the third spirit week of this year. We want to see all your creative outfits starting Monday. On Monday, it's growing up. What career are you heading towards? Twin up with your squad on Tuesday, because it's twin day, boys. And on Wednesday, show up how you woke up, because it's PJ day, A. Hey. Thursday, sue up, it's superhero day. Lastly, on Friday, show up and show out your Panther pride. Can't wait to see what you guys come up with. If you guys want to be a part of next week's episode, make sure to send your photos to Panther TV Snapchat. <laughs> if you guys are stressing about your outfits for Spirit Week, there will be a sol there is a solution. Join the Meditation Club. They will meet in room 619 on Monday and Thursdays from 2.30 to 3.30. Join a supportive community that will help you reduce your stress. While we're on the topic of clubs, the Grand Canyon Youth Outdoor Club will be having their Colorado River Rafting Adventure on March 18th through the 21st. See Mr. Howard in 2 or 5 or attend a club meeting during combined lunch. Financial aid is available. Hey Rain, do you know any young, talented artists here in Coco? I do, why? You should let them know our fellow Panthers are considering drawing a mural in Miss Stevens' room 619. It will be up for generations for students to admire. Sounds like a good idea, I'll definitely let them know. Also, what do the drawings have to be about? The drawings have to be related to literature, language, or communication, and give it to Miss Stevens by January 31st. CHS will provide all the tools and supplies. Speaking of talented people, winter sports regular season is coming to an end. Let's check out what they have been up to. Welcome back, Panthers. I'm Keegan Trainer, and this is Panther Sports. All right, uh, where's Courtney at? Uh, Courtney told me that she had a game today and uh, I forgot to tell you, do you, do you need any help? I guess, uh, you could help, uh, it's fine. Uh, let's just talk about basketball. All right, last week our boys and girls basketball teams had two games over the weekend. On the 19th, they went up against Mojave, which both teams ended up getting a victory. Then the next day, Boys teams traveled down to face Mingus Union in Cottonwood. Our boys played a tough game against the Marauders and ended up bringing that back that W. Nice job. The game was intense from beginning to end with the tough defense brought from Mingus. Overall, boys won with a score of 66 to 52 and girls with a score of 51 to 21. Our basketball teams went ham last week. Moving into soccer, both teams faced the Mingus Marauders. Boys stayed here at home, but sadly they couldn't get the home victory with the 1-2 loss. While the boys were at home, the girls traveled to Mingus and got the victory 2-1. Hey, Keegan, how did our wrestling team do at the Team Van Horn Invitational? They did really good. LB took first in the 106 weight class. Marcelo Barreras took first in the 152. Talon Goodwin took fourth in the 145. Brennan Barreras took second in the 160. Mark Aguade took sixth in the 220. Kane Fordyce took third in the heavyweight. Dude, I can't believe this year winter sports season is wrapping up, wrapping up already. I know, I can't believe it. We already have teams finishing off their seasons this week. On the 23rd, our boys and girls basketball teams traveled down to Prescott to play against the Badgers. They had a close fought game with the boys getting a 77 to 55 victory and the girls with a 40 to 34 win. Then on Thursday, they traveled up to Lee Williams to face off against the Volunteers. Whoa, congrats. Great job to our boys and girls basketball teams. Today, they're playing Mingus Union at home. So cheer them up and let's, ho let's all hope for the dub. On Monday, girls soccer traveled to Cactus High School to face off against the Cobras. And they got a clean sheet with a 3-0 win. Our boys soccer went to Yonker High School on Tuesday. JV ended the season with a win. Boys varsity fought hard but ended with a 2-2 tie. On the same day, girls soccer also faced Yonker on our own turf with a domination of 8-0. That's super impressive, girls. Keep it up for state. And that wraps up both boys and girls regular soccer season. Girls had their first game of state on Thursday. We will bring you the info next week. Now let's switch over to the calendar. On the 30th, boys and girls basketball teams will be hosting Yonker on our home court. And to end their season, they will be going against the Eagles on February 2nd. I hope the Eagles take the L. Our basketball teams are sweeping the season. Dude, I can wait to see what they pull off during state tournament. Well, that's it for this week, Panthers. I just want to say this was sponsored by GEICO. GEICO saves 15% or more on car insurance. Now, now back, back to, to headquarters. headquarters. <laughs>
Can't wait to see the run for state from our athletes this year. But before we go, there's a pretty nice event happening tonight at the Beasley yes. Gallery at NAU. Upwards of 25 CHS students will have their art on display at the gallery for the high school invitational show. The opening is tonight from five to seven food included. This is a big deal for our Panthers and it is a great honor for them to be invited back to display their work. This is the second year in a row that they have been asked and we hope it will turn into an annual event for our students. Stop by Panthers from January the 26th through February the 9th. The gallery also has daytime hours from 10 to 5 on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays if you are on campus for any reason. Wow, those paintings look amazing. I hope you guys show up and support our Panthers. Great talent tonight. Well, that's it for this week, Panthers. Hope you have a great weekend. Wait a second, Jack Stone. Hold your horses. We have one last announcement. Attention all seniors and senior friends. Get your Flex Up Grad Night 2018 t-shirts. Shirts are $10 in Miss Dalby's room at 704. All proceeds go to putting this year's event on. Now as always, face, face your, your fears, Panthers, Panthers rock. Now as always. That's not horrible. Okay.